What does a gerontologist do? I don't think I've ever heard of a gerontologist. A gerontologist, I have no idea actually what they would do. It sounds like if I would guess something with aging, helping people as they age, I don't know. I think for like if it was a medical issue, I would go for a nurse. Again, with a gerontologist, I have no idea what they do. And for a social worker, if it was like anything financial or something, I would believe they would go for. I think nurse would probably be the most likely way I would ask for help, but maybe social work if you know if we needed more counseling assistance or figuring out um, I don't know, stuff not directly related to health. That's kind of hard for me. Um, it would be a mix between the social worker and the gerontologist. So first of all, gerontology is the scientific study of age, aging, and the aged. And a gerontologist applies that scientific study in many applications across the settings where they work. Most people wouldn't go see a dentist who had never been to dental school. But so many of the people who work in aging services and the long-term care industry don't have any training in gerontology. And a lot of that is because gerontology is such a young and new, uh, fresh, dynamic discipline, people haven't had the opportunity to study gerontology academically. But currently, we have academic programs in gerontology, and the benefit of hiring a gerontologist is that you have the opportunity to infuse uh, evidence-based practice in the work that you do. That makes everybody's job easier. It makes the workplace a better place because you have um, a greater understanding of how to infuse gerontological practice. Um, it makes care that you provide better to elders because we have a stronger understanding of person-centered care from a research standpoint. And it significantly improves people's job satisfaction because you don't have the frustration of the trial and error and trying to figure things out through just day-to-day -day experience. I can't say enough, frankly, about being at VCU. You know, VCU, our focus is about community engagement and meeting community-identified needs. As our president, President Rao, says about VCU, we're not interested in status, nor are we interested in status quo. And to me, that's really where our whole campaign about disrupting ageism comes from. Because we know that ageism is dangerous. We know that it's damaging to people's longevity and self-esteem and sense of self-mastery. And so we are working in all of our teaching, research, and community engagement to change those attitudes that people have about aging. VCU is the ideal place to do that. We are the only uh, master's program in gerontology in the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's always been the case. And so we have the benefit of being more of a statewide program. And so we can serve people across the state. And we also recruit from largely across the state. And another benefit is the fact that we've been around since the beginning. Um, and, in the 1970s, that's when the majority of programs in gerontology began. And so we've had the experience and the opportunities to benefit from so many people who came before us and were really pioneers in the field. And we have the opportunity now to continue that in ways that are new and um, exciting because aging is, is dynamic and changing in terms of, of the way people experience their late life and elderhood.